Chris, let me know. I'm his last one, I think. Mm. Are you? I don't know, maybe. No, don't oh, no, no, I was your last one. Okay. Sorry. Okay. See, that's good. Go. Okay. <laughs> I know movies are hard work, but this looked like it was a good time for a lot of people. Jody said she had the best time she ever had making a movie. She really, she seemed to have a lot of fun. I did, too. And uh, uh, a lot of it was because of her. I mean, she's just, uh, she was great. And, and Dick, of course, whose films are always fun. I mean, I've mm -hmm. worked with him four times now. It's not for no reason. Yeah, I asked him if uh, he was going to take you as an income tax deduction because he's had you around for so much. <laughs> no, we just kind of click, so that's good. And and Garner, of course, is uh, I mean, he's the perennial gentleman, you know, nice guy, hello guy. Is it interesting for you to work with people like a James Garner from a different school, different generation of actors? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the guy has um, a lot of stuff ironed out. I mean, a lot of stuff is just automatic. Some of the stuff he knows that I haven't heard of before is uh, it's tremendous. It's so fun just, I would think it'd be fun listening to their stories and just hearing them if you get them to talk. But that's what it is. I mean, it's wonderful. Most of the time we just swapped filthy stories. That was about it. it was, he's it a sports nut, are you? Oh, I know. He's a wild. He's I like mean, a, he's two TV men in the yeah, room. Yeah, the football. He gets into the football in a big way. I do like the sports. I like the boxing. He's, hmm. And I like going to football games. I've never been to one live. He watches them from the I know, he's got, with the he's coach. Got, yeah. He actually goes down with the field and the Raiders, though. <laughs> The amazing guy. Oh, yeah. So how does Mel take off now? You've been working a whole bunch. What do you do when you're slugging, like doing nothing? Can you do nothing? No. I've always got to do something. Make and something? And there's always something to do. So um, it's usually, uh, if I'm not like in the middle of a film, I'm sort of, I can get my head into other material, um, like literature or uh, um, screenplays or whatever. And it's um, usually just a constant uh, lineup of development. You know. Do you ever get so tired and, and you have to be like worn out after some of these shoots, the physicality of everything. You ever so tired you just want to stay in for two days and just lay down? Oh yeah, and that happens quite <laughs> a bit. You'll do it. Didn't used to happen. Damn it. Yeah. But now it does. Now you gotta do that. And just kinda cut it off for a little while. Yeah, just give yourself a couple of breaths. So when you relax, do you when you have all those children in the house and, mm -hmm. and everything that goes on in your life anyway, how do you actually relax? What is a day off for you? With all the children in the house, you don't relax. I mean, you don't. You can't. But that, in a way, is relaxation. I mean, it is so yeah. removed from, you know, what you do normally that um, you can relax right into that. How about the uh, experience when I last saw you? We were in Maine, and uh, everyone I, that ever saw the movie loved the movie. Yeah. Were you overall happy with what went on there, happy with the experience? With uh, the man on the face? Yeah, I think it was okay. I mean... It had its uh, shortfalls in certain areas, you know, and nobody's more aware of it than I am. Um, but by and large, I was really happy with what happened and the way it turned out and stuff. And you're going to direct again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what? I loved it. Yeah. What are you going to do now? Next? I'm on pre-production for a thing in Scotland at the moment called Braveheart, which is um, uh, a story about a 13th century Scots patriot. Very romantic, very brutal, but um, quite an adventure. It's true. Or mostly true, anyway. You direct that one? Yeah. Now that's going to be different. It's action, right? Yeah, there's a lot of action. So is there something you've gone to school or you've been reading or talking to Dick Donner about on the secrets of doing action as opposed to... Uh, yeah, I think, um, I think, oddly enough, it's probably easier. Hmm. It, it is more time-consuming because I think... Uh, but I think I could do it. I, just, I grew up on all those things. Um, it's far more time-consuming, but in some ways a lot easier. But you've been in so much action, you have to have some feel for what they were doing on the other side while you were doing it. So. Oh, absolutely. I have to link right up with that. So I know you've exactly been to the action. Doing. You've been. You got to have your doctorate in action. Yeah, my doctorate in the Dr. George Miller School of. Um, uh, shoot him up and run. How to really sort of bash him in the face, you know. Um, I had got something in my book the other day. I was reading through this magazine. These these uh, one ads that people place now to meet each other. You've seen those personal ads? Oh, yeah, I've seen things like it, you know, wanted, you know. And your name appears in those things periodically. Does it? <laughs> yes, it said, we yeah, want I, a Mel, I put a few in. We want, <laughs> we want a Mel Gibson look like. you got to look like Mel Gibson. you got to have this. What does that mean, exactly? What do you think they're looking for when they're saying Mel Gibson? A clone. A clone? Somebody with a 14-foot eyebrow? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, that's flattering, I guess, when you say there's a Mel, a Mel Gibson, the, the, you're the heart throb. You mean that I'm worthy of emulating? Yes. Uh, well, yes, I like the way you said that. <coughs> there's a certain flattery. You know, <coughs> there's a, you know, if they knew the truth of it, they wouldn't do it. But I mean, they, uh, it is flattering, of course. You know, something. You hadn't like been that. single in so many years. You don't even remember what it was like, do you? 
No. No. I know you've what always it's like been to be married, alone. haven't you? Haven't you been married since you were like a child? I was Four a child five, bride. You were yes, a child right. bride? Uh, I don't know. I got married. I was a reasonable sort of. I was like nearly 25 by the time I got married. But it's, you know, I've been married a long time. Well, single fun? Yeah. When you look back on it, oh, you have yeah. good memories of being single? Good and bad, you know. It was like, I was young then, too. I mean, when you're that young, it's life's just plain confusing, you know. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to your children dating? Like, you got, you got any girls? One daughter, yeah. Are you going to like that when some Mel Gibson look-alike comes to your door? Uh, well, you got to kind of let, you know, give it some space. You know, you got to do that. I can't, any, I can't chain her up in the attic. You give her any advice? Uh, yeah. <laughs> None that we're going to talk about here. Be home by 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my father always said, and I've told my girls, nothing good ever happens after 10 o'clock. Nothing good ever happens after 10 o'clock. <laughs> but I know a lot of bad things that have happened before 10 o'clock, too. Yeah, indeed. So you're not looking forward necessarily to the uh, night your little girl goes out on a date? I'm not looking forward to it. Well, you kind of, you know, you, you sort of have, there's a certain amount of trust you have to sort of put there and just say, right, you know, you got to do that. Yeah, well, there's not a lot of choice in that. Because they're becoming adults and you just got to let them go. Um, Thank you, Dad, you fired me up. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, so long as you kind of instilled something in them to begin with, I mean, they'll, they will do what they will do anyway. And, and uh, um, you can only hope that you've instilled some kind of, you know, core in them that's going to go out there and Indeed. do as you would have them do. But, yeah, not, but not do like It's not always going to be. That's right. Yeah. Nice seeing you again. Look forward yeah. to the next thing. Thanks. This is Thank a you. fun movie. Thanks. Yeah.